All the following oddments and cast lines are removed due to the negative impact they have on the processing equipment and the finished product. This is our oddments and cast lines. First we've got our locks. It's short in length and free from any stain. Second we've got our dag, which comes from the breech or crutch area and is covered in dung. Our shank is off the end of the sheep's leg. It contains medulated fibre and won't take dye. It's still valuable, but it just needs a different process and doesn't take the dye because it's a hollow fibre. STN is our stain. This is urine stain by the sheep in the crutch area and it can only be dyed dark colours. This is our belly wool off the tummy of the sheep. It contains medulated fibre in the brisket area which is removed and any stain wool needs to be removed from it. The brisket area is from the top of the belly of the sheep and it's flattened and matted caused by the sheep laying on that area. Our skin needs to be removed because it can damage the processing equipment and ruin the end product. The skin will be removed in a process and then the wool that's attached to it can be used. Our pieces are the skirtings off the edge of our fleece. They're usually a little bit shorter in length and contain sweaty fribs edges. The necks may contain heavy vegetable matter or distinctly inferior wool from the neck area of the fleece. Brands can come in all different colours and can be found anywhere on the sheep. It just needs to be washed out in a different process. Our jowls are a matted cotted pieces from underneath the neck or around the head area of the sheep. Our coloured fleece wool is usually of a canary yellow or a deeper orange colour and needs to be removed as directed by your classer.